Have you ever play heard of earn. play to earn gaming? Uh, no, it sounds like a scam already, and I like it, and it's juicy. So let's get into it. <laughs> so play. So this is hilarious. I've been meaning to address this for a while. Uh, You're getting but so good at scams, let's talk eh? about it. They, they're just getting so good. I mean, I mean, as a kid, what defense do you have? It's like play to earn, bro. Hey, you're 10 years old. It's just play nonsense. <laughs> it's the biggest nonsense ever. So like play to earn. Kids? Yeah. Well, basically, it's like, look, you play this game. And everyone else, if you get to the top, you're, you're earning tokens. People are spending money on their ver their stuff. They're spending money, so you get a chunk of that money. So it's a big... Just imagine it like a big triangle, okay? You right. know? And then at the top, if you're, you make... You got enough, you're making money. If you're at the bottom, you're spending money supporting the people at the top. Right. What do we call that usually? Pyramid scheme. Scheming and scheming and schmeming. Or, scheming yeah, and memeing. Yeah, or some kind of a weird Ponzi scheme. Yeah, scheming no, I, I think play to earn is nonsense. I think a lot of people are going to get wrecked on it. But, um, you know, hey, whatever. It just I mean, is what dude, it is. And, and when they go after kids, it's so hard, dude. If your kid gets into it, it could become like, fuck you, dad. I'm, I hate I'm you. I'm rich. Like, <laughs> dad, I'm, I'm rich. Gonna, I'm going to get rich. And once I lose everything, like, dude, are they going to get Can rich? Can you imagine, I mean, dude, you jacked into the VR stuff and they're like, look, you make money playing video games. Yeah, but they're losing money. Well, because guaranteed to start off, like what did you have to pay to play? No, you have to pay to start or something. Of course, everyone. Well, how do you, <laughs> you think say... they have money to pay the people at the top? The whole thing is <laughs> with all course. these things, you're not making oh. value from nothing. You have to get somebody yeah. in at the bottom yeah. to pay the guy at the top. That's like how all what drives all this stuff. Yeah, yeah, and and like the mathematics on it are so. Yeah, people. Just Ed need is to such that a lefty. He goes. He goes. We call that capitalism. For the West. Ah! The guy <laughs> <laughs> wow, we call it capitalism, you pigs. I was gonna say, like, at what point does? Because have you ever seen? Have you ever played the the? There was like this really addictive Simpsons video <laughs> game where like you could buy donuts in it. Like you play Homer. It's so funny too. But you can like get advantages by buying donuts. But if you don't buy the donuts, you can still play for free. But then it's like, sorry, you can't do this without two hundred donuts. And then to buy the donuts is like a dollar. It's like a dollar for fifty donuts. You ever play those games? Like, what's the difference there? Okay, for TKC you? says you guys have no idea. That's not how it works. All right, I come on, guys, get in the chat. Get you know, chat. you know, we're getting in chat. Get in the come chat. on, get in. Hey, what, 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 what do you us. think of those? What do you think of those get video the Discord. games though, that that just have it in the gaming? Let's go Discord. Discord boys, Discord, Discord it, dude. I feel so young and fresh when I go into Discord. The whole um, thing is, dude. If you guys are gonna tell me that I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, let's, let's have it then. Let's, let's have talk it. about let's it. Have it then. Zorro, ten bucks. Unfortunately, boys, this is the most you've ever said on like Zoomers, Boomers. Sorry, I had to let you know. Okay, fair enough. Let's get in voice chat. Let's talk about it, baby. I am not. Ever I love to do it because maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. That's fair enough. I'm happy to learn. Are they telling us that it's not a pyramid scheme? That these video games? Because what if they're in the video game and then they're like, okay, buy my token at the video game, go to this thing, and then they tell us the handle. You think we're going to get some of that here? I wonder what's happening. Because it does sound pretty pyramid schemey to me. No, don't. Hey, listen, we're going to let them talk. Let them tell us. We're gonna we let don't them know. Tell us. It sounds pyramid schemey. We sound you, like boomers. You know what? There's just plenty of good, healthy games you can play, ladies and gentlemen, in the community, in the flock, that don't require you to just lose all your money. No, right. it's fine. It's fine. They're saying you don't know what you're talking about. Before we say anything else and incriminate ourselves further as boomers, Let's hear from people. Hey, uh, Am I going Wyatt, to chat can you can people? you just uh, yeah okay? Yeah, Wyatt Wyatt's is Wyatt will screen you guys. Just FYI, how this works now is Wyatt is going to get you in chat before you talk to us as like a call screener. We're Very the first profesh. time we're trying this, and he will basically uh, ask you what you want to talk about. All this kind of stuff. We're trying to go more professional with it. If you Big, like a my, psycho. Guy, my guy Zoro is ready right now. All right, let's do it. Zorro. Let's do it. Zoro is coming in in three, two, one. Zoro. Hey, my Baba G's. What's up, dude? Habibi, okay, Habibi, Habibi. we Habibi. sound like How's boomers. Going, What's going on? What What's happened up? to us? Yeah, so no, no, not like, you know, coming at you angry or anything, but I am just saying, like, to write off pay to earn or play to earn, excuse me, games no, explain just it, as man. an entire. Yeah, like, so, like, right now, how the gaming world is set up, right? Like, mm -hmm. a majority of the money that's 
piling in on these for these big AAA companies is from all these microtransactions and stuff, mm-hmm. right? So like you have all this content that people are already willing to pay money for in the game. But now with with NFT technology and stuff, you can introduce where you can own it in a different way, right? Like you own it on the blockchain in that thing. So You're like not helping your case with NFT, but sorry, continue. Oh, that that's a whole <laughs> different thing, you're right. But but just like well that's that's part of it too is like the technology of nfts and blockchain and stuff it's being misused by a ton of people right now like it's the scams like you're saying are going crazy and it's going to happen with play to earn stuff as well like there's going to be people who are like oh people are are you know super hyped on this and don't even care to look into what it is Mm -hmm. it doesn't even matter if it's a good game they're going to come in and play it and, and try to you know get rich off of it But just because there are going to be scammers doesn't necessarily mean that there won't like that the the system itself is always going to be like that. You know, like I'm just I'm just saying don't write it off completely right now because there could be some really cool things that are made from this. Wait, so can I can I try to restate it to make sure I understand what you're saying? You're basically saying, look, there's already people spending tons of money to game. All this is doing is instead of all the money going to Epic or yes, Liquid exactly. Riot, now some of the money's going back to the players. Isn't this cool? Yeah, and like think of like MMOs, right? Like some of them have had huge economies where players have been able to do like you know, have like an interesting interaction with the rest of the world. And there's a there's a monetary system that's fair to the players, right? Like it's not automatically going to be something that's scammed but i agree with you guys that there is going to be a wave of play to earn games that are fucking trash yeah as long as we can agree i mean i think what's going to happen is that most of these games are going to pitch it as money is being in like basically created out of nothing as long as everyone understands that by definition most people are going to spend more money on the game than they make Right, they could at the at the most equitable. You take from a player, give to a player. It's zero sum. But we know the game has to take a sizable chunk of that to develop. So as long as everyone understands that most of the money is not going to just be redistributed about around the players. You know, the game has to take money. There's not right. value being created out of nowhere. I guess you have I to, like, get keep it. Your, keep your uh, expectations, you know, tethered to the earth. Yeah. Still, yeah. like it's not the future. You know, you're not going to be a millionaire from playing smash bros or whatever but that being said there is that idea of it may not be all the players but if you're a player who like devotes yourself or or you are good at a game and you're someone who's in a leaderboard or something and you're getting a little kickback yeah yeah, you're getting a little kickback from that that's a great little you know little side gig you don't they kind of already do this with uh like not to say it's not revolutionary and everything but i'm just i'm just trying to understand like in the the corollary and normal terms this has already happened in like runescape in wow where there's yeah, been markets of exactly, people yeah. make money the mmo yeah the this MMO, has happened uh, market fortnite yeah yeah big okay, money in their I currencies can, currency i can't trading. understand this what i'm saying is that like i've noticed and this is actually really uh bad in like have you heard of axie infinity and like some of these other yeah. games so there's a huge wave of people in poor countries trying to basically game to make money like for a salary Mm -hmm. and that seems to me to be really sad and like counterproductive to have a bunch of people literally gaming so they can survive it's like okay it kind of makes you think of like a a weird twist on ready player one style where it's like he's living in a trailer that's stacked on top of 100 trailers and he's like i don't care because i'm going in to play and i'm gonna yeah yeah, make it that way it's like american football it's like oh this this will be my ticket out this will be my ticket out who yeah. cares if I yeah if I if I don't go to school and I don't do anything like I'm gonna get yeah gonna slightly different dollars. but because yeah. in that you know there's it, it the is whole like being a YouTuber thing, but... or an artist it, it's yeah weird. I mean it, it, it is know... and that's a good point it is really like if if it is like if playing games and stuff is your passion this could be an avenue to maybe make you know make some some headway and do something because even if you're not making a bunch on the game itself if you're streaming as you play and you build a following you get a sponsorship that kind of yeah. thing right so i guess there, that's it's fine. like i mean like if you temp- yeah if, I think you, the- if you temper my expectations then i'm i'm fine with it actually yeah, yeah. and that's what but i Zorro- think is the problem with nfts and and like nft gaming and stuff is people their brains are in the stratosphere right now and there is some really yeah. cool stuff coming and i'm i'm like fully on board and excited for it but i'm also not like you know 
stretching myself to the point where I don't have, like, I can't afford to eat or something because I'm putting all my money into freaking the newest cryptos. <laughs> Gonna rip you off, take you down